Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. So we've got like two weeks, yeah, two weeks from today, we're heading up to Georgia to spend a couple days with our daughter. And then Monday starts Power Tour 2023. So we've got Fred almost ready. The last two things we gotta do, we've gotta do the AC. We need the AC to make it, you know, that week long trip a little more comfortable. And then the front end alignment. So we've got two weeks. And I've searched high and low, so 81, I think like 81 to 83 maybe, I'm not sure the exact years, but the condenser, the output on the condenser is on the driver's side. So there's a liquid line that goes from there over root to the evaporator, impossible to find. Like I searched everywhere, you probably can have it custom made somewhere, but I couldn't find it. And... The decision I made was just to convert everything to an 85 setup because all the parts for an 85 setup are good. So all the controls seem to work in the truck. There was just a vacuum line missing for all the levers. Everything works now. So hopefully the electrics work too. We'll find out. So I bought a new compressor, uh, not new compressor. We got all new hoses. We got an accumulator, liquid line for an 85. Every, everything's here. We got to figure it out. We got all these gaskets and O-rings and stuff. So I'm not really sure. I'm not an AC guy. I'm an electrician. I don't know about this stuff. So we just got to get it together. And then we're going to bring it up to a local shop up here. Mr. Jones, super awesome dude. He's got some nice, uh, he's building a pro street square body. Pretty awesome. Twin turbo charge, big block thing. But anyway, let's dig into this. We'll, we got to try to put this together so I can get it over to a shop so he can do the vacuum cleaning, all that stuff, and get it all charged up. So we're good to go. And then the only thing left is um, after that is the front end alignment, and we're motoring. So let's dig into this thing and see what we can figure out here. There's a lot of parts, but we'll get it. Not sure where to start here. Let me bring you inside and show you what we got. All right, so before we get too crazy, I just want to show you what we're what we're working with. So I, I removed the original um, doodadder here, the uh, accumulator, the little happy bracket there. This is the only thing that's staying that's original. Everything else we've got new. So we got to pipe that in, get this liquid line hooked up. So let me bring you around this way. Let me show you. Here's the. New condenser is in place. So when we were at my friend's house doing the old drop kit, we had it on the lift, made things a little easier, but we pulled the radiator back, got this in here. The 85 fits in there just right. Just had to drill and tap one new hole in the radiator support because the little mount was over a little bit. Other than that, perfect. So we got that in. Now we just got to stitch everything else together. We've got Accumulator, liquid lines, the compressor we got to mount. I was lucky to find all the brackets we needed for the compressor mount, so we'll get that in place. Make sure we figure out the oil situation. That's about it. So let's stitch that together. Oh, and the belt. Yeah, we got to get the belt in. All right, let's go. We'll start putting it together here. Well, I figure I'm going to start <clears throat> kind of on the bottom up. So... My thoughts are get this liquid line in there. Hopefully it, it fits. It looks like it's bent the right way. So that's a positive sign. So this one came with O-rings on it. And I got a whole huge bag of O-rings. And it came with one of the kits. So probably gave you enough O-rings to do, you know, like an entire redo. But these parts came with the O-rings. So hopefully that's right. I'm going to pull this orifice out. <clears throat> so the kit came with a little package with a couple of new orifices. So I'm going to pull this old orifice out. Make sure it's the correct color. How does that come out? Let me see. I'm not an AC guy. I don't know. I thought it slid right out. Looks like it pops out. Let's see. <clears throat> all right 
There is that. Yeah, it looks like it's just a little suction action. There it goes. Wow, that's fancy. That one comes, I guess, different application. Let me see. Let me see if I can grab it and pull it out. Here it comes. Oh, baby. Come on. There it is. Yeah, lots of boogers on there. I guess I didn't need that one. It sure looks the same. So I guess we'll jam this new one in. Hope for the best. That's how it came out. That's how we put it back in. Boom, right in place. Sweet. All right. I'm a little nervous, I got to say. I'm not. We're going to do our best. I think we'll be all right. So let's see if we can get this critter to fit in here. So that's got to go like that. The nice thing is, is all the fittings are kind of, I don't want to say idiot proof, but kind of idiot proof. Put this one in. Idiot proof meaning they got all the you know, one size fitting, so you can't crisscross, double cross thing. All right, so that's in there nice. Get the right wrenches. Easy on the valve cover, Timmy. That's all she wrote right there. She bites, bites right in there. Looks like it bottoms out. Hopefully it's meant to be that way. Seems nice and tight. Good and tight. A little cable relocation here. It's off a little bit here. I'll show you after. I'm doing a little bending. Go easy. Fine tune this line in place here. Woo! She works. Threading right on. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. I guess the only way to Learn and figure this stuff out is to dig in. Take your time and dig in. A lot of times it's just the fear of the unknown. Need myself a 5 8 right stand by. Oh, 11 16s. There we go. Now I lost my other wrench. We're there. We got that one. Just to do a little, a little rebending of this critter. Maybe. I want to put a strapperoni in there. I got some nice strapperonis. I was looking all over for those rubber insulated straps. Went to all the local parts stores. Nobody had them. Then the other day I was in Old Harbor Freight and they had a nice package of them. So I'm going to go grab one of those so we can put this here. Got a hole in a already there. I don't know what it was for, but it's in the perfect spot for this. So yeah, I got this nice kit. It's like five bucks. Can't beat it with a stick. I was going to the other places and they wanted like five bucks for four of them. Five 
Oh yeah, that's perfect. Actually, it looks like a professional job. It doesn't happen too often. Uh-oh, from Wanted. Stand by. So I've got the new hose all strapped in, tightened up, that liquid line. So we should be good to go there. I just added some of the refrigerant lube oil to the accumulator. So I'm going to get this critter stuffed in there. Make sure we're good. So we just get this in. I put the new roll ring on here. So we should be, I think, okay. Let's put that happy little ring on there to hold it. So far, so good. Boy, that's it. Tighten that critter up. Big wrench. Need big wrench. That's an extra more bigger one. We get another wrench. That's got to be an inch and an eighth anyway. That one will work. It's size extra jumbo. Okay. Okay. Don't want to kill it, break anything. All right. There we go. Okay. I already put the switch in, so that should be good. You know what, I'm gonna pull it back out, make sure we got a new O-ring in here. How that works. Yeah, new O-ring, we're good. Tighten that up. Okay, sweet. So that's in, I guess next will, the compressor. So let's move over to the compressor, get that mounted. I got the belt kind of stuck in there. So hopefully, hopefully it's the right belt. I got two, they both seem to be the same. One's a little chunkier than the other, but I got it on play in place and we'll move over to the other side and get that compressor filled up with oil. Would like to get some in the condenser too. I'm gonna see if I can get some down the throat of that condenser. I think I got a long twisty funnel. So let me do that. And then we'll get the rest of the oil in the compressor and bolt that all up. So let's move over there. Sounds like a plan. All right, I've got the new compressor. So hopefully that thing, I don't know, maybe they just keep it pressurized to keep the contaminants out. But I got the two line sets here. So I purchased the one for the 81, but the lines are too short because we moved the condenser lines to the, to the old passenger side. So. I don't know, maybe I can return that. But anyway, we got the set for the 85, and I think I filled this up with oil. And then I put a little oil on both surfaces, put a little oil on the gaskets. And this pack of gaskets, I had O-rings and stuff, and it came with the gaskets. I'm not sure which package that came with, but I got, like I said, there's more O-rings there, and the Carter's got pills, and I was gonna put these on, but there's already a set on there, so I think I'll just we'll just roll with it. So let's just kind of thinking. The best thing is to just and I went and found a washer because the bolt didn't have a washer. So let's just bolt this critter down and I guess hope for the best. When I take this over to Mr. Jones, I'll. Be sure to bring all the parts with me just in case I screwed something up. He can poo poo it in. But hopefully, hopefully it's right. All right. I don't know. I guess that's it. I just had to spin this a bunch of times. It's been probably 10 minutes upside down, but I think I had oil anyway. I guess that's it, so sure hope I'm doing it right. Let's let's get it in the truck. They said do something even if it's wrong, but hopefully it's right. <laughs> let's 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 move on into the truck and we'll see if we get this critter mounted up. 
Now let's see if we can get this critter bolted up. So the funny thing I found, you know, these years is crazy that half the stuff is metric and half is standard. So I had to run down and get some M12 bolts to bolt this critter in place. But I think we got it. I got, got this bracket mounted kind of tight. Not quite, but kind of tight. Gonna get this one in. If I can find it, maybe. Maybe I'll we'll try to back first. That's pretty sweet. Let me try this one in the back. That's probably it. I think I may have to cut At least there, get this in here to hold it. I'll show you in a sec what's going on here. can't believe how great this is going. I was really nervous that this was going to be like a super crazy, scary install, but so far it hasn't been too bad. Then again, you know, ignorance is bliss. If I don't know what I'm screwing up, all well, is great. Let's see if I can get this belt hooked around here. Yeah. Still may make it. Clearance, clearance. The belt is on. It's actually correct. Holy cow. It's a miracle. So, I'm gonna bring you in here. I wanna show you what's going on before I get too crazy carried away. All right, so this is what we've got going on here. I don't think it's a huge deal. I've got this bolt in. There's a bolt that comes off of this bracket and those Woo -woo. They're kind of like the pivot bolt, so the compressor can rock back and forth. And then this bracket here goes into here, but as you can see, got a little, we got a little spacage. So I'm guessing I'll maybe take this out, put some stack of stack of nickels in there, and kind of fill in the gappage. And then we got the bolt. We got the bolt. I'm gonna kind of get those so they're pretty close. Tighten this down. And we'll just fill that in, I guess, with some washers. That's about it. And then after that, the compressor's installed and we'll get, uh, so next we'll hop on, we'll get these hoses hooked up. See what, uh, hopefully those will reach and do what they're supposed to do. They look like they're long enough. I guess we'll, we'll find out in a sec. All right. Did it. So for that spacer, I just took a half inch nut that I had kicking around. If I had a five eighths, it would have been better. I just popped it on. But anyway, I just drilled it out. So I'll let that cool and we'll bolt that back together. I think that'll make the perfect little spacer or a roni there. All right, all our bolts are in. So we just got to tighten it up. I got the old breaker bar on here. They make it super easy. A little half inch uh, square hole there. Yank a roni on this critter. Tighten it up. That's about it. Tighten these bolts. So I get these tightened up and then um, get the alternator back on just as I take it off, of course, to not off, but loosen it up to get the belt off. Yeah. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. All she wrote. I'm just going to tighten the rest of these critters up. We'll be all set. That half inch nut is absolutely perfect. Looks like it was made that way. Man, this is super cool. I'm excited. Just, I don't know, the compressor made me get excited for a minute just because it looks right. So let's get this side hooked up, take care of that belt, and then we'll get that side hooked up. Cooking with gas. Condenser hooked up, belt tightened up, good to go. Alternator belt is on, we're good to go there. It's all tightened up, ready to rock and roll. 
So the only thing left we have basically are these two hoses. So this critter goes into the condenser. So we'll hook up that up. And then we've got this bad dog here that goes to the dryer. So we got a little finagle and we'll get that in. So let's hook this one up first. So it should be pretty easy. I just want to lube up the, the O-ring. We got some of the drained out oil from the system here. You get that in there and it's got a nice little angle dangle. So something like that, I guess. I don't know if you can see it, but go right in. Got a nice angle piece of cake. Got that angle, avoids that heater hose line, it looks like. Let's tighten this bad dog up. I think that's about it. Pretty easy. I hope it's right. I hope it doesn't leak. Okay. That's it. All right. So we're going to move around, hook up this, get that all hooked up to the dryer there, and it's getting about it. All right. So let's get on to that one. How the heck are we going to do this? So trying to. Trying to finagle this stuff around all these hoses because we got to get this bad dog up under there somehow. How's it gonna go? Like that, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Oh, don't lose the oil. It's the matter of we got to get under, 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 down, under that critter. Oh, won't go. Let me get this That's giving us a kink of roni, so that's not good. It's gotta be a better way. This up over. Oh boy. It's gotta go somehow or another. A big puzzle. You like that? No, definitely not like that. Houston, we have a problem. How's this gonna go? Do that if we kink it. That would not be good. Hmm. Let's work on this one for a minute. We have to do that some bending, some bendage, some kind of thing. I'm a little scared. How is this going to go? All right, we're going to take a break because I got another pipe I might be able to utilize and do something like this. So let me see what I can do. Let's see. Well, gang, we got it together. Like, so I fussed and fussed and fussed trying to get that tube up in there, get it hooked up. Finally got it. So it, you know, did a little bend action, got it in there. Nice. Go to hook it up. It's a female. The pipe is a female. Ain't gonna work. So what I ended up doing is I put the old one on here temporary just to see if I could mock it up. And I found online I can get the one for this one, the same as an 85. I don't know. I bought this from Rock Auto and it's wrong. So I've gotta get another one. So I ordered that critter, it's supposed to be here in a few days. So it'll be in time for me to take it up to the shop up the street, so no big deal. But I've got the hose kind of oriented and nice i got it hooked up i'll show you what i did so let me bring you on in here so i did a little 
I just did a little re-bend action to get it come in nice. And I think it'll work. And it's out of the way of everything. You know, it's tucked in there nice. Comes in, comes in, goes across. So I think everything will be all right. And then the other side, I got this. I went to go hook up the power. And you couldn't even hook up the power to the compressor because of the bracket. So I had to do a little... A little nachalina in the bracket so it could get the access to the power. So I got it right here. I don't want to plug it in yet until it gets the stuff going. I'll let Mr. Jones do that. And then when I was running the harness across, I got it all grounded up. And there's this extra critter. I'm not sure what that goes to. I got to figure that out. I don't know. Probably something I don't need anymore. But it's all together. So it's just a matter of getting this new dryer. That come in, It'll take two seconds, throw that in, probably put a little more juice in there because I had already filled up the new one with the proper amount of oil. So it comes with new oil. I'll put some of that in there so we're good. That's about it. So I think with that, a little dressing up after, a couple of zip ties here and there, keep it all neat. I think we'll be in good shape. So that's about it in a nutshell. So hopefully once it's charged, it all works. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, we'll have to take old Susie B. Actually, my buddy Tommy told me to take his suburban. That would be nice. But no, we'll take Susie B if this doesn't go as a as a backup. That's what we're going to have to do. But this should work. So I'm pretty confident because I really want to take Fred on this cruise. So we'll see. So, hey, we'll probably see you next on Power Tour because it's like two weeks away from the mil this moment right now. We'll be in Georgia. So looking forward to that. We'll catch you then. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. Really appreciate it. Trying to trying to get that channel growing. So thanks again. We'll see y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye.